so sap license so normally as soon as you install the sap system there is a temporary license will be installed that is the 90 days license period only it is the 90 days only you will get but after that we need to apply the permanent license so permanent license we have to apply it here so that permanent license we need to get from so sap marketplace sap market piece so smp sap marketplace the keys we have to download it and we have to import into the yes license transaction code s yes, license transaction code in this s license transaction code in the s license transaction code we can apply the license of the sap system here yes license so we can apply the license so in the license yeah, the license we have to generate based upon the hardware key and installation number. It will come like this. And you, when is the expiry going to expire it here, right? The temporary license will expire it, but the permanent license will not expire. So that is the standard license. End of the your system or end of the world 999. So 999 December 31st, it will be expired. So, but there is no expiry here, right? That is the license number. Suppose if it is the temp, if it is a new system, there is a, if it is a new system, then you can log into the system here. Then you can go to the yes license transaction code. Yes license transaction code. So we can see the, we can see the, so when it is going to expire and everything here well, because it's a temporary license only temp license only we have installed so then temp license will be it will be 90 days only when you have installed in the sixth month you have installed it ninth month it is going to be expired ninth month it is going to be expired here ninth month it is going to be expired here right so that is the life that is the in this transaction code we have to apply the license there is an option to install the new license then we can browse the the license part we can browse the license that license we can install it here right but we have to generate the license here how to generate the license right in the service marketplace we have to generate the license here that i will show you but license so here the license is depending upon the, the cost suppose license apply in the sap system that is fine s license transaction code we can apply it or we can delete it whatever we want we can do it in the s license transaction code right so that is fine but but here s license transaction code we can do that part in case of in case of uh, uh, if you, in case of someone ask you uh, someone ask you the uh, license up, that is our duty is applying the generating the license applying that license that is our wish that is our duty so we can just simple transaction code just go to the s license we can install the new license it will generate as a text file and we can install it that will be applied as a permanent license we can apply it if the license is expired you cannot log into the system suppose like in the ninth month this is going to expire so after this is the last day of the we can log into the system after that 2209 2309 we cannot log into the system why because the license is expired you cannot log into the system then we have to apply the permanent license permanent license we have to get from sap we have to apply it here that is what we have to do it here right so but the license has so how much they will charge it sap will charge for the licenses that is depends upon the customer right so the license is depending upon the our contract between the customer and sap customer to sap like we and customer customer because customer one customer systems so then customer and sap here so either you have to read the the contract or so then we have to contact the our account every account every account there is an accounting manager suppose you are the customer you are you are doing the xyz project that project there is an account manager so that manager, the manager will tell you the licenses and everything here, right? So here using the, so how can they measure it? How much is required and everything here? Using the USMM is the transaction code. USMM is the transaction code here. They can measure the, how, uh, like what is the usage, user measurement, user measurement, what is the usage, how many users concurrently, all those things they can do that one us mm is the transaction code here us mm is the transaction code they can do the 
the license auditing so auditing and everything they can do it in the us mm transaction code here us mm transaction code they will do that one here us mm oh this is dump pay because syntax error so it is executing let's say here there is a license auditing auditing will happen in the systems so there is auditing will happen in the systems here depends upon the user types and everything here right so based upon that auditing license auditing so uh auditing sap sap will audit audit our systems like uh, how many users basic types are so what is the base types then there is a how many dialogue users communication system users based upon the dialogue users SAP will charge it or number of CPU cores, SAP will charge it here. So either two ways, either based upon the users or based upon the CPU cores here. They like that they will charge it here, right? So here in the US MM transaction code, we can find out what's happening in the system here, how they will measure it and they will take care of. We don't need to worry about the, the measurement and everything here, right? So measurement and everything, we don't need to worry. So based upon the so named users are based upon the so based upon the number of users are based upon the number of cpu cores they can they can they can do the license auditing and everything but our duty as a basis consultant our duty is so generate the license from the service marketplace generate the license for the service marketplace and we have to uh, apply it here we have to apply we have to apply it here so you can do the system measurement here then so users date everything will be displayed here especially for the production systems so then so we can we can estimate it how much and how what is and everything here right so normally this will be done by the auditors will do that one so but our responsibility the licensing part is go to the s license transaction code apply the license that's it that is our duty here applying the license and all those things we can perform it here in the s license is the transaction code that is what you need to remember the so s license transaction code here right so to apply the license but how to generate the license means